Hello friends, welcome to KSR Data Vision. We'll continue with these Python coding questions in this playlist. So in this video, we're going to look at a question that was asked by TCS to freshers. So this is a screening interview question, guys. And only those candidates who are able to code without any errors were uh, like, you know, allowed to queue the next level of interview. So this question was uh, tailor-made for freshers. And the question goes something like this. A sales employee travels D kilometers at a speed of S kilometers per hour every day. While traveling, he has a habit of listening to songs. So he adds all his favorite songs to a playlist before his travel. Given the duration of each song, write a function which returns the number of songs he listened by accepting the list of songs duration, kilometers traveled and speed. For example, they say employee has traveled five kilometers. Employee has traveled five kilometers at a speed of 35 kilometers per hour while listening to songs with duration. And duration is a list. Duration is a list here. So assume the playlist is large enough to last for his entire duration. That means the playlist doesn't exhaust. So we are given distance, the total distance the user traveled, and at what speed the user is traveling and the duration of each song and the entire playlist in an entire playlist of songs as a list and 512 is the duration of each song given these three we need to return we need to return the number of songs he listened so this is a question guys so try it on your own and then you can probably come back and uh, view my solution so pass the video now Okay, so let us look at solution. So before going to Python, let me explain you the approach to solve this particular question. Okay, so let's just say, let me select pen. Okay, let's just say the distance that particular user has to travel D equals to 10 kilometers. It's 10 kilometers. And speed is, let's just say 60 kilometers per hour. 60 kilometers per hour and duration list. So we have a list. Let's just say 520 and then 210, then 608406. These are playlists. Let's say. So now the question is. While traveling 10 kilometers at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour, how many uh, songs he has risen to? So that is a question. So to answer this, the first step is to travel 10 kilometers at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. How much time is required? So we need to calculate time. Time is recall guys, distance by speed. So distance is here 10 kilometers and then it is 60 kilometers per hour, 60 kilometers per hour. So the time is one by six hours, one by six hours or one by six into 60 minutes, which is 10 minutes or 10 into 60 equals to 600 seconds, 600 seconds. So to travel a distance of 10 kilometers, at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour, it required about 10 minutes or 600 seconds for that particular employee. Now, in the 600 seconds, how many, in the 600 seconds, how many songs can he listen to? Okay, so if you take 10 minutes, each, this particular song took 5 minutes and 20 seconds and this took about 2 minutes and 10 seconds, which is 7 minutes and 30 seconds for these two. And including this, it is like this plus 6.08, which is this one. So it requires about like 13, 13 minutes and 38 seconds. Okay. So to listen, uh, like you know, in 10 minutes, he can listen to two songs completely plus one more song, plus one more song in the middle. So totally it's three songs. He has, he can, he has listened to three songs, two songs completely and one song half or a part of it. 
So on total has related to three songs. So this is how we have to solve it, guys. So let us go back to Python and let us look at how do we code it. Okay. So we need to write a function which accepts three parameters. So let me write a function and let me call it number of songs. Okay, number of songs and the parameters are distance, speed and duration list. Duration list. These are the three parameters. And what are my inputs? Distance equals to 10, speed equals to 60 and duration list is, I have, let's just say 5 comma 30, it should be in string as a quotation and then let me just say three comma ten and then six six minutes and uh, 38 seconds probably and then four minutes 12 seconds and let me just say 10 minutes and 28 seconds okay this is my input so now so i need to code so what is the first thing that we need to do? We need to calculate the time, travel time. So how do we do that? Travel time equals to my distance divided by speed into 60. So distance by speed gives me number of hours. This gives me number of minutes and now into seconds. So this gives me travel time, travel time in seconds. Seconds. Okay, the first part is done. Next, I need to, for each song, I need to calculate the duration, right? For each song in duration list, what I need to do is, let me run it. So I need to convert this 530 to seconds. 530 to seconds. So how do I convert it? Let me just say my x equals to 530. So what I'll do is, I'll do x dot split. And how do I split it? I'll split on colon. So this gives me 5 and 30 separately. So all I need to do is, let me just save it as y. Okay, I've saved it as y. And this is my y. So now, all I need to do is, I need to do y, y of 0 star 60. This gives me, uh, like you know, this, I can convert this 5 into seconds. And then I need to add this 30. So for that, I'll say y of 1. But this is a string, so I'll say int. Int of, similarly, int of y of 0 into 60 plus int of y of 1. This gives me 330. For 638, let me just quickly verify it. For 638, okay, I'm splitting it. And if I do it, I get 398. So this is how I convert my song into seconds, each song duration into seconds. Okay. I said for song, song dot split, split on colon. And let me just say my x, x is this one. Or let me just put it as y. Okay. And now this one, this is my time taken. So. So let me just say song time. Song time equals to this. Okay, I got my song time. I have my total time. Now all I need to do is if my song, my travel time, my travel time, total travel time is greater than my song time, then I want to add, I want to create a counter. So let me just say my counter. Count equals to zero here. And then if it is greater than my song time, I want to go to next song. So I'll say count equals to count plus one. Or if I want to do it in more Pythonic way, I'll say count plus equals to one. Okay. I'm incrementing my counter. But again, for one song, okay. What is, what are my second song? For second song, I need to add my first song time plus the second song time, right? But this will calculate song for only each song at a time. So for that, let me create one more variable, I'll say time, time equals to zero. And I'll keep adding my time here. I'll keep adding 
each song's time to my time, my overall time. And instead of checking for each song time, I'll check for overall time. Okay, fine. Now I want to return my count. If I return my count, okay, let us run it and we'll see it. There's small uh, like correction that we need to do. So this is my function. And if I have to run it for this, this particular uh, value, okay, let me call this one, this function. In the example, we said three, but we got only two. The reason is here we are saying, okay, initially my count is zero. And if my travel time is greater than my time, that is songs time, increment it. After two increments, uh, like this will be two, true for two, two songs. But when he is listening to third song, this won't be true. This condition won't be true because he's still listening to it. The travel time, like two songs have been completed and the travel time is now less than the total time for the third song that he took. So that is the reason it gave only two. So to include the third song as well, we need to return count plus one. This will return three. And the number of songs he result is two, two songs completely and he's calculated them to the third song. So total songs he result is three. Okay. And then again, so let us uh, verify the same for this particular value. Okay. So for this particular use case, let us see what the total value is. Let me quickly remove it. Let me copy paste it. For these inputs, let us see what is the total duration or number of songs returned to. Okay, this is my duration list. Let me convert everything into a string. Okay, now what is the distance? Distance is five kilometers and sorry, distance is five kilometers and speed is 35, speed is 35. Okay, and if I want to check the number of songs here listen to, I'll call this particular function and it returns two. So let us verify manually whether this two is correct or not. So let me remove everything. Okay. So now, now if person is traveling five kilometers at a speed of 35, so these many hours is what it takes. So in terms of minutes, it is 8.57 minutes. So my first song is 5.2, like that means five minutes and two seconds. Second song is four minutes and 12 seconds. So combined it is nine minutes and 14 seconds. So he has listened to one song completely and second song he is currently to. So number of songs he listened to is two. So this is how we code it guys. So thank you. Thank you friends. And uh, we'll see you again in our next video. Have a good day.